Hey everybody, I'm back again. Donnelly's game stuff, blah 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 blah. Right, so what we have here in what well, what I'm gonna be discussing in this video is gonna be idols and idol markers. Um, now there's a lot of different reasons to use idols for specific actions or stuff like that, but basically what an idol is is uh, it's a kind of animation. You see, all these are idols attached to uh, stools. So in order to use this object, you use a stool. And in order to sit in the stool, you have to sit. So that's the animation. That's the final result, is the actual sitting. Um, I've added a couple of little idols uh, on this floor. For instance, uh, where am I get the right thing? OK, so this one right here is a sweeper. You know, It's a sweeper idol. So basically, whoever uses this idol uh, will will sweep <clears throat> now what happens is when you have a person on sandbox or you want them to follow a specific path I've gotten into uh, AI and getting people to move from one position to another already in previous videos but if you uh, if, if I'm a little too long-winded for you, you can just ask below maybe I'll try to clarify it or point you in the right direction all right so that's what idols are used for it just gives it a kind of a life um, like things are happening like right here, I have an idol. This guy is intended to sit against this wall. So he just kind of sits there um, looking badass. All right, so I'm just going to use a couple idols, and I'm going to uh, show you where to find them. Now, you got two different kinds of idols. Uh, you have a general idol marker, uh, which I can show you in a second. But right now, we're just going to uh, show you the regular markers, which you're going to find under World Objects mar uh, Furniture Markers, because they're furniture that doesn't actually um, have um, a texture attached to it and there's no no uh, shape other than the um, right so this is my guy right here and this actually which one is this this is a uh, alien sitting marker so you remember uh, if you haven't seen it the alien sitting there's one so if you put the alien on this seat that's what he would do what else do we have in here let's just that was just first one right off the thing so you have them for all the different creatures uh, let's do uh, preview right so this this will give you a basic idea what is what um, that's an ambush assault tron pot pad there is a uh, death claw climbing over a wall so that's the animation that takes place when you do uh, that which is a probably a few animations thrown together or one specific uh, animation so this is a ambush feral anyway you get the idea on that you can just kind of like scroll through these uh, you just click on the inside here uh, with your preview open and then you can just use your arrow buttons or what have you like so so that's uh, Kate quest woozy so this is Kate woozy I assume at some point when you're dealing with her quest uh, what else we got here so I think I what I, which one I want is probably like the sitting against the wall one. I'll probably add one of those. So let's just screw it. Here's a couple. Let's see. Map lean. If you had somebody with a map. Map stand. Uh, where am I looking? You get the idea. This is where they all are. I encourage you to just look through everything. There's a bartender. I've used a couple of those in the bar. Uh, there's a sleep on ground. Uh, bartender is a little bit different. Uh, berry gathering. Let's see. I'm looking for a lean against a wall kind of thing. Let's have a look. There's Ho. There's some kind of push or use a console. It's different levels of console. There's a good lean against the wall. Let's use this one. So we just drop that on there like we would any other object. And uh, you need your markers on to see this uh, because of the nature of it. Let's see here. So I want him to lean against this wall, I think. So we're going to press our W and get on blue. And we can get him properly lined up with the wall like that. And we just got to kind of slide him into place until he's... That looks pretty good. That should that should do. Uh, you can fine-tune it, obviously, if you just want to, like, take your uh, snap to grids off here. So now, uh, when somebody is in this room sandboxing, they might choose this place. Or I could tell them, that's where I want you to go. That's where I want you to sit when I'm dealing with their uh, AI packages and that sort of thing. So I got a wall lean. What else might I want in here? There's the table. Now, is there one that looks like he's looking at the table? I think I just saw one a little bit back here. Was it uh, ground? And if you want him sitting on the ground... 
there's one let me see screwdriver nope 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 not doing a screwdriver well i could say they're repairing it right all the different inspect wounded oh let's see warms warming okay so that's like if they're cold warming kneeling that looks might work let's see which one is it i don't know how it's gonna look but yeah let's just go ahead and do that we're just gonna drop him in there and see if that lines up good oh it does it's not bad it's not bad it doesn't line up perfectly mind you i mean i could probably sink the pool table to link it up a little bit better so it looks a little better um so he'll be just kind of like going like this i guess hold on maybe i can go like this yeah, but that's not really uh, square. The, this table wasn't placed very square. So I'm going to take uh, this is snap to angle. I'm going to take that off. I'm going to go back to here, and then I'm going to go press my W. And I'm already on blue, so it's just a matter of... Oh, that looks pretty good. Let's, I don't know how that's going to look, but I, I guess we're going to find out. So we're just going to um, place those two uh, in world. Now, if I were to put somebody to sandbox in this area which I could, and I, I might, I might add a couple, uh, I have a couple more NPCs I want to add, but now let's get into idle markers, okay, so this is a different thing, you can use these for different purposes, or more specific animations, for whatever reason you might want to use an idle marker, now I don't, I haven't decided, I haven't thought about what I want to actually do for an idle marker, but okay, so we go into miscellaneous, I believe, idle marker, under miscellaneous, idle marker, so now what we want here in particular is an empty idle marker. All right, so this has nothing in it. It's just the empty idle marker. Now we're, we don't want to rename this one, so we're going to duplicate it. And that makes the copy here. So we're going to go, um, what animation would we like to add to it? Going to have to add an animation to it. Yes, yes. Uh, let's call it call it cliff idle marker because he likes to stand in one place but I'm not, I don't know if that's actually gonna work uh, no we'll rename the object so what we want to do is because I already made a copy right now oh, let's make it zero cliff uh, but that's okay so I already made a copy so the empty idle marker is still here and it made the blah 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 now I'm just rechanging the name okay so I can just say no rename the object yeah, it's, it's all right. It asks, are you sure the object is currently in use by zero objects and zero references? Which means it's not doing anything. So let's change that to zero. Um, if it was connected to something or somebody owned that particular thing, then it would have a reference. Something would be referencing it. Uh, so we're going to say, okay, wait, wait. Uh, yes, yes. Okay, so zero cliff marker. And we're going to give cliff a place to hang out. Although probably one of the other reference models, uh, the models that I already had are better for that. All right, hold on. Let me get lined up here. All right, so they hang out here. Now, in the show, I've watched it a little bit, Cliff sometimes hangs out right here. He just kind of leans over the rail, right? Occasionally. So um, that's from the door. Yeah, we'll just get rid of this one. I don't think I really need this seat anyway. It's not being used by anybody. So we're just going to delete that okay we don't need that all right now what i want is that cliff idle marker i'm going to drop it right in here now the arrow generally means that's the direction they'll be facing during the animation so in this case i'm going to put my snap to grids back on or my snap to uh, a line uh, angle yes yes angle all right so we're going to go w there we go okay so from my experience you want it about here, I think, because I use, I use one in another part of the game. And let's just move you over a notch. There we go, just over here a little bit. There we go. That way this idle marker is free. Now, I don't know what I want Cliff to do here. Maybe I'll have him eating the squid or whatever the hell that thing was. Like I had candy accidentally doing. So, uh, yeah, let's just bring this down. There we go. Okay, so now it's lined up with the ground really nice. Now, what we want to do from here is oh i think i, I uh, somewhere where is the damn thing right here okay <laughs> all right once it's created you could uh edit it by going in here like this edit that'll give you this um but there's a different way to edit when you're at rip it um 
edit when you take it from there see okay so it's all the same now you also have child can use so if you want a child to use that uh, particular uh, idle marker then you do that and ignored by sandbox means nobody will use it so you could uh, do that with a bed or something that nobody would use uh, until you want it used uh, but that's a whole nother thing so ignored by sandbox now what we want to do right here Cliff is at the counter and this is normally when he bullshits for a while so uh, this may or may not be the best choice for this location as far as using an idle marker but this is for reference only anyway All right, let me get Let's might as well have Cliff in the window, right? Cliff, there we go. Looks a little scrawny. I can fatten him up a little bit, but they go to shit for some reason when you go into this preview mode. It really looks horrible. I don't know why. But so you want to look through your different things. There's uh, some walking. That's a female walk in particular. So I could, I, I suppose, I could just have walking in place if I wanted. Let's see. What is this? video let me increase this because i actually don't need that let me decrease my id since you don't really need that unless you're getting heavy into scripting or something um or when you're dealing with it in the console in the game uh so video final shot player let's see ragdoll let's see he's reading newscaster cower looping let's see this is when he's eating the brain right right that's <laughs> that would be crazy What's he doing? I don't know, eating brains. It's just cliff things. That's what he does. Alright, what else might he be doing here? Unfortunately, not all these work. Hey, we'll do the de Deacon Greet. That sounds pretty good. That'll be one option right there. Uh, and let me add some more. Let's see. I oh no, I didn't mean to do that. Well, alright. You know what? Screw it. I thought about putting it in as a joke, but now it stays. Fuck it. All right, so we're just going to go through here again. And let's find the one we already picked. Sugary body cam. I have no idea what is that. All right, uh, let me just get him in here so I can't, so I can see him. It's so obnoxious when they do that. All right, but he's going to be sitting in this one. Okay, so now, as I was trying to do. All right. Surgery body cam. I don't know what's going on there. Putting something up. Uh, those don't look right because it's a super mutant. I think I've covered this to some degree. But... <laughs> that would be pretty funny. I'm just... Uh, I'm just is it skin face gen? Nah, that looks funny. No, no. We don't want the Magnolia thing here. Place envelope on table. Pose to pose is your starter thing when you're editing in this. Uh, use psycho. <laughs> Cliff is a psycho freak. Um, all right, you're starting to get the idea. I mean, this I don't want to bore you too much with me, my choices here. Look up inspecting. Look up inspecting. He looks paranoid. Prepping needle. Yeah. Hostage. What is he doing there? Gunpoint. Super mutant. Oh, come on. Oh, he just had him clapping. He likes doing that. Pointing you. You. I am Cliff Clavin. I. <laughs> Hear me and fear me. Or something. What do we got here? Oh, it's a kick. No, we don't need him kicking things. All right, this is the boring part. I wish uh, the drunk one worked, but it doesn't. Shrug. I don't know if the shrug one will work. I've seen that the head one works. Let me try shrug. All right, so we're going to do that, right? And then um, now you can run him in a sequence, um, like so, or you can keep him random. Idle timer setting. This will be useful so they don't do it, like, all the time. So let's say three, maybe three hour. I think this is in-game hours, which is like something like a minute in the real world. Um, and I'm arch types, and this is all kinds of different things. These are other things. I don't know how much these actually work, uh, but let's go ahead and add one. We'll go, he's confident. Sure, sure. All right, did that just shut off? Yeah, that just shut off, see? See, that's what happens when you use an arch type, I guess. All right, so that shut off my actual idols that I wanted. All right, so um, 
that looks pretty good if i wanted in order to buy sandbox blah 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 if i wanted child can use blah 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 that'd be great now if i want to take this idol and actually give it to him right if i want to i want it to be cliff's spot that's where he sits just like i may make this his chair because there's actually been whole uh, episodes about it being his chair so let's see he does he isn't owned but i'm gonna make that spot owned all right and we're gonna make it the owned by cliff all right now he's the only one that he use it um i can set it that he i believe goes there um specifically on a, uh his sandbox because uh, he does sandbox for a while before so we're gonna say okay I think I gotta change the hours on that. Um, and we can adjust his sandbox. How about this one? And we go, all right, so we're gonna go edit base. Now I want him to specifically use that particular location and nobody else. So we're gonna go edit base. Come on, Cliff, open, open with the thing. All right, so AI packages. Now Cliff wanders. This is the one where he follows Candy, I believe, right? Yes. All right, now do I, uh, I think I can in here, owner used, used owner ref only so that means he would only use anything that uh, was owned by him so if I said true the only place he would go during that sandbox would be the one that I just set for him to be owning uh, restrict sandbox to target selector now um, this is another place I could choose that cliff spot so we'll just do that for example and we're just gonna go specific reference specific reference there we go all right, so now, uh, oh crap, where did it go? All right, I have to find it again. Where did I put it? Oh, it's over here, okay. Because once you go into this screen and you select the reference, you're kind of locked, you can't move it anymore. Anyway, there we go. So now the only place he'll go, the package target, is the cliff idol marker there. Other than that, he'll just kind of walk around or whatever. So we're just gonna say okay, we're gonna say okay. All right, and I mean, that's pretty much it. Hold on, let me just do that. All right, that's pretty much it. Like, now I've added a couple idle markers to the inside, but, um, and they'll do that. Like, you, when I go in, um, I'll show you her sweeping, because that's all I have her set to do right now. Although I'm going to give her a more complex package um, down the road a little bit. I've also set up this guy standing there like that, and this guy sitting against the wall. And if I were to add somebody here to sandbox in this location, then that's probably all they would really do. Um, there's already some idle markers in here uh, for different things. If you had a shop, you could just put a shopping idle marker and then people will sit in front of it and shop. Uh, there's, so there's some that already exist. Military pose idle. Um, yeah, I mean, you get the idea. Mr. Handy gardening, if you wanted uh, a Mr. Handy in a particular place, you get the point. All right, so let's show you that in game now, and you can kind of see how the idols work and how they go to them. And that's the basic setup on how to set up an idol or a series of idols that you can link to or not link to uh, through your various packages. I've already got some stuck on a package or another. All right. Okay, so we're back. Here's Cliff eating some brains. Uh, so he's going to the idol marker that I set for him. And he's going to hang out there, and he's going to sandbox there. He's going to do that. Let's see when he does the thing on the table. Come on, Cliff, do it for me. Now he's going to eat brains again. Come on, you're supposed to randomize. Let me see the other one. I should do another one, Cliff. Well, he'll get around to it. So she's sweeping, like I showed you. And the broom will just appear when you set that. Um, they'll just sit there. Now, this guy is standing there, big tough guy, as he's supposed to. Um, so that's him all set. He's going to get really pissed off when I touch that door. There's nobody back here, unfortunately. But if there were, they would be using the idols that I set for them. We'll see how funny that looks in-game. So... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, this. I still need to record this.